Hey, fellow photographer, how's it going? I'm Michael Sadie. I would like to show you how to make hot, sexy shower photos without a shower. You can shoot such photos even in your living room if you like to. Let me walk you through a simple setup that I have made for that kind of photos. I started with a simple black curtain as my backdrop. I positioned the model in front of the curtain and I positioned my octa box somewhere camera right as the main light for my model. Now with that setup, I was losing her dark hair in the dark background and that is why I added a second flash which was firing right into the background in order to separate her hair out. I galed this flash with a CTO gale giving it an orange color just in order to add some story to the whole scene. Now that I was okay with the lighting, I started with the shower effect. For that, I used a piece of acrylic glass. It's also called Perspex or PMMA or plastic glass. I used the thinnest, lightest, cheapest acrylic glass that I could find. Two millimeters thin, 150 centimeters tall, 50 centimeters wide. Now, this is not such a big sheet of glass, but it's enough. It doesn't need to be as tall as my model because it's much closer to my lens than the model is. It just has to be enough to shoot through the glass. I was using a boom arm in order to hang the glass on a light stand. Since the glass got quite some weight, I used a way back on one of the feet of this light stand. I really don't want the whole thing to tip over at any point in time during the shoot. I also positioned a cloth underneath the glass because I knew I would now spray water on it. And this is what I did. I sprayed quite some water drops onto the glass and had some drops running down and made it a bit messy so that it looked very interesting. From this point on, the Octabox got two jobs. One job was to be the main light for my model. The second job is to throw some light into the drops of water on the glass because these water drops, they need a bit of light in order to appear as water drops. So position the glass in a way so that some light of the main light will also hit your glass. This is very important. Now for the shoot itself, we started with a lingerie shoot, which is looking kind of interesting, but not very realistic. Then we went on and took down the straps of her bra, which is making it more like a shower scene without lingerie. And then finally we sprayed a bit of glycerine onto the skin of the model, making it appear wet. But glycerine can be quite cold, so be careful when you spray it onto your model. But then it finally looks like a shower scene. Some tips when you do something like that, you don't want to have your own reflection in the glass, so wear black clothes which don't reflect. Then if you've got strong lights somewhere in the room, like we have the video lights when uh, shooting the scene, position them so that they are not mirrored in the glass, so that you can't see them on your photo. Then the autofocus of your camera might be fooled by the glass and the drops on it. And if you've got an on-camera speed light, which doesn't contribute to the exposure, but is just throwing some autofocus health light onto your model, that might help. So an on-camera speed light helps. A little tip is also to use an adjustable spray bottle because you want a certain type of water drops for your photo. You want to experiment a bit until you have something you like. So if you've got an adjustable spray bottle, it makes life much more easy. Then for the posing, try to position her eyes behind a non-cloudy part of your glass so that the eyes are really visible on the photo. The rest of the body can vanish behind messy water drops, especially when you make whole body shoots. Then you probably want to hide the lower part of her body behind a whole lot of water. I suggest you try it out. Maybe you put your own twist on it. You don't need orange light. You can try blue light in the background. You could make her hair wet, making it looking more like a shower scene. There's many things you can vary. Have fun with it and for that I really wish you good light. <laughs>